Uh, we had the thing in Washington, deranged Jack Smith. He's a Protestant. He's a deranged human being. He's a, a huge record of failure because he goes so far out and people end up not being convicted. He goes too far. He's a man. He's a, a just a terrible human being. But he's a deranged person who wants to hurt people. And we, we're hurting him. I'll tell you, we're hurting him. He stinks. That's not the kind of people... You know, being a prosecutor is a very important thing. Being a fair and good prosecutor is a very important thing. But some of these animals, I mean, they are bad. They are. But what they've done is it's all coming out of crooked Joe Biden because, look, he can't campaign. He can't campaign. He can't speak. He can't walk. Yeah, it's true. He looks like hell. Yep. And I will say this. Before my indictments, I talked much differently about him. They know, front row Joe's now, right? A big change in course. I used to, you know, I had respect for the office of the president. And if you listen to MSDNC and CNN, they're all getting no ratings now, which is great. But if you listen to them, and if you go back a year, they were all saying, well, no, you can never indict Trump on this. They indicted me. You could never indict him on January 6th. They indicted me. You could never indict him on the document hoax. Nope. I come under the Presidential Records Act. I'm allowed to do all of that. Yo, I'm didn't get indicted, but you did, sir. New York Times did a story. Please, 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 Mr. President, please. Could we have our boxes? And if the president says no, he doesn't have to give them. But think of this. Think of this. Joe Biden was totally exonerated last week. He's got ten times the documents, and they're oh. classified. And he's not under the presidential. That jacked up. And they exonerated him. Of course, they said he was right. grossly incompetent, but we don't have to get into that. But that'll come up. You watch. But we'll uh, we'll be in very good shape. So, a man who totally violated every law in the book on classified documents, who had many of the documents stored in Chinatown. Yeah. And by the way, did you they see those Joe boxes? Biden. Those boxes were seriously used. They were used. Those boxes, they had a lot of stuff taken out. They weren't just boxes, Matt. Those boxes had stuff coming in and out. Where's Hunter? Where is he? Where's Hunter? <laughs> no, they had stuff coming in and out, and they were stored in Chinatown. No. They also had them under his beautiful Corvette. The Corvette was dumping grease all over him. <laughs> They were in the garage. It's one of those doors that cost very little money that you can take a scissor and cut. <laughs> Whereas mine were at the Great Mar-a-Lago. I had Secret Service all over the place. I had a locked door. You know, they yeah, they're me you bad, Trump. We showed them. I said, here's where they're stored. Take a look. They look. They said, could you put an extra? We had a good lock there. We had Secret Service. They said, could you put an extra lock in? And I said, sure, put an extra lock. They wrote me a letter, thank you very much, put an extra lock. And then they raided Mar-a-Lago after that. These are bad, these are bad people. They are. These are bad people. You can't trust the FBI. And you're not allowed to do that according to the Fourth Amendment. You can't do that. That's just jacked up All of this is only happening because I'm running for president. That's and right. And leading in the polls. Otherwise, we wouldn't be. Got my vote there, buddy. We 